Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the women's strawweight bout between Random Marcos versus Luana Pinheiro. And how I see this one right here is it's um could be or looking like a changing of the guards, really not a change in the guard because like Chief Pinheiro is coming in here to become the new Random Marcos, but it is what it is. Random Marcos is about 35, 36, Pinheiro is I think like 25, 26, like mid to late 20s versus mid 30s height and reach are virtually identical i think um pinero might have a slight two inch or one inch reach advantage height i think it's like both five four so no real big advantages as far as physically for each one either one i do think pinero is the more leaned out fighter definitely youth is a factor and you could factor that heavily in there striking wise i think pinero's strike game is more um flesh like flushed out whereas um random marcus pretty much is from, since since we known her, she's been an overhand and takedown. A lot of times those takedowns be sloppy, but she just getting with heart and grit and being relentless with them. And then looking at um Pinheiro, her game's a little more solid. I, I haven't really seen her wrestling too much, and I'm not really impressed with what I've seen. She does do a lot of little um, hit and arm throws, which couldn't get her in over her back. Cause that's really what Random Marcos wants it, and that could be a, you know a bad a recipe for disaster. But looking at the fact that Random Marcos is riding a what three fight losing streak, and before that her last win was a split decision over Ashley Yoder. No disrespect to Ashley Yoder. She just not, she just not really a top fighter. Good skills, good frame, but just hasn't been doing like that. And uh, yeah, it was a split decision with um, Ashley Yoder. The last couple losses for some good fighters. And her last fight, her, her last opponent she was wasn't that great, but it was a stylist match. She felt like a high level wrestler, but still kind of a one dimensional fighter. But the fact that Randa Marcos needs to get the fight to the ground and just about all of her fights, and you're going against a high level wrestler, it just end up with her being on her back against a better wrestler. That's all it was. It's not like Randa Marcos submission game is that good. So. You find a better wrestler versus a lesser wrestler, the better wrestler is going to win, and that's what happened. But how six one right here, I think Pinheiro is more fleshed out in the game. But who actually she fought? But yeah, who actually fought? I'm going to lean to her to win, though, in this one. Younger, she's up and coming. Yes, she hasn't fought anybody yet, but she's all she got a, a decent judo background. The more fleshed out striking. She's not riding a three-fight losing streak. I see, I see her being offensive off her back, offensive off top. And I just really just see her out working... Um, Matt Marcos in this one. I feel like she's gonna give some like some takedowns and top control to random Marcos, but I feel like she's gonna be the work to get back to standing, be the last shots from distance, maybe score a, a hip toss here and there and get her top position and win the trouble. I see this a very tight matchup. This is a 50 50 fight, but I'm leaning to the youth, I'm leaning to her judo, I'm leaning to her striking edge to be able to grit out a close decision over random Marcos. So in this one, I have Luna Luana Pinheiro by decision. 